Hey guys, hi, it's Susan Seiler from Classical Conversations Livermore, and I am so excited about the new, here, the new student resource packet. I am so excited about this. I love it. It's my first um, year in essentials this year as a um, mom. I sat in peripherally as a director, but it's my first year in Essentials as a mom. And the old SRN, we really just used it for word lists. And that was great. That was totally wonderful. This year, however, this new SRP is super great. So the first thing is that there is two main um, sections to the SRP. The first one is a section on structure, and the second is a section on style. So we have structure and style. The first 76 pages, I'm trying to turn it here. The first, hold on, there we go. The first 76 pages in the SRP are all about structure and it's organized by unit, kind of similar to how our um, TWSS is organized. For each unit structure, there are really straightforward student instructions. I'm gonna see if I can show you. Here's for unit two straightforward student instructions. And then you just saw the mini posters. And then there are writing samples in here, as well as templates you can apply to any um, source text, which isn't really needed for us. Wait, let's see, there you go, can you see that? So, and here's the mini poster for unit three, along with Again, student instructions, um, mini posters, sample templates, and the um, the samples themselves. So I'm really not positive how I'm going to use this yet. I think that will become more evident as we proceed along in our second year of essentials. Um, Andrew Poudois gives some ideas in the binder on what to do. You can see it's thicker than the SRN last year. Let's see, can you see that? There you go. It's um, 100 and 176 pages, where last year's, I think, was 115. So it's thicker. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna use the structure stock part of the notebook yet, but the style part, this is, this is a game changer for me. So what I did was, out of, out of this whole packet, I had pages 90 through 150, 91 I think, through 150 spiral bound with a back cover because these are the ones that are specifically for the stylistic techniques. And the awesome part about this is it coincides exactly page by page to the way, um, excuse me, to the timing that it's introduced in the history-based writing. So first introduced is the LY, LY um, adverbs, and then next is the who, which clause, followed by strong verbs, followed by the because clause. So those are the order in which we introduce the stylistic techniques. And those, that is the page order that is here in the SRP. So um, the second thing that makes this a game changer is that the pages are in the order of the checklist. So as your students going through the checklist, they just will be turning the pages in their SRP to give them whatever resources and word lists and um, reminders and instructions that they're going to need to do that stylistic technique in the order that's on the checklist. So easy plus one just got a lot easier in our house. Um, so I'm really, I'm really excited about that. Um, okay, so let me show you the word list themselves. So first up is the LY adverb list. And they're um, actually all in alphabetical order, which is awesome. Um, so you see the general word list, and then there's also um, avoiding really and very. That was in your old SRN. You might have missed it because it was just kind of off to the side, not boldly formatted, just, just not really um, 
in a way that stood out. Uh, they also added several other categories, such as showing importance, showing likelihood, um, frequency, how to show emotion, uh, some other LY adverbs, and they're really great. Okay, let's see. Uh, what is the next page? Oh, the Who Witch Clause is next. Look at this. This is fabulous. Everything from the page layout to the actual descriptions truly are going to equip not only myself, but my student to master the Who Witch. So that is just the general who which clause and if you look in your old srn this information was kind of in there but not formatted well not easy for your student to read and learn and um, then also the advanced techniques of the invisible who which and um essential or non-essential who which pretty cool huh so that is just a really great way to actually equip your student to master these stylistic techniques. Um, so I'm just going to talk about two more things. Um, the strong verb list, here's an example. And I will tell you, at first glance, I was kind of confused at all these word lists because it was apparent that there were less word choices. But I started comparing the old word list to the new word list. And I will tell you, I think, um, especially in the go went section, there we go. Um, I really think they just took out words that cluttered the list, such as somersault. I don't know that very often in our ancient Middle Ages or history, U.S. history, are we going to say he somersaulted into battle. So I think that is an example of words that they just took off that cluttered the list. Some others are cartwheel, cascade, drudge, lumber, whoosh, whiz, those are some that were removed from that word list. But I will tell you, there are some other words in the word list that were removed that I was a little sad to see were gone. So we are just gonna use the old one as another resource that'll sit on my shelf near our thesaurus. But we're gonna use this for sure as our primary. Um, but if you noticed, there are a lot of spaces in here to write any additional words that you would like. And that is such a good habit to train our students in doing and seeing words that they like and write them down that I think there's great benefit into the way they formatted the new word list. Um, then comes, oh my gosh, sentence openers. Anybody else have trouble keeping up with which sentence opener was which? Um, maybe as a tutors, you guys didn't, but as, as a parent, I sure did. And then when we would go to use that, we'd be flipping all over the, um, all over the SRN to look for this preposition or that preposition or this, we would just be flipping all over the place. Now, look at this. Here is, and this wasn't even in the old SRN. Look at that. So um, prepositional sentence openers, it talks um, tips on how to do it correctly, plus those word lists right at the bottom. Do you see the word lists for prepositions? So they won't be flipping all over the place. Um, there are advanced techniques. So, ah! so you can see some of the advanced techniques on there. Um, just for some of our older students or for us when our students want to do something and we question whether or not it's um, legal. Um, ING openers, a really great explanation. Well, hold on, here we go. Well laid out on ING openers. Sorry, I got to look at it. Um, true ING openers, imposter ING, illegal ING, and invisible ING. So lots of good description, but not just for us. This is written for the student as well. And then um, finally, in the sentence openers, if you don't already use this page in your current SRN, you are gonna love this page. It's page 127, and it's the transitional openers. And these are, sorry, I'm trying to not keep my awesome. big face in here. These are awesome. That was my son, if you heard him in the background. Wait, there you go, where are you? Awesome. There he is. We love the transitional openers. They help us make our story interesting. Not only did they keep all of the transitional openers, they added almost an entire page of additional transitional openers, contrasting, introducing authority, conceding, summarizing, concluding, repeating. Ah, uh, we love this page. So page 120. 
127 and 128 are gems. Actually, the whole book is gems. And then there's a whole section on decorations. Each one of the decorations have a um, have a description, have a, just information so that your students can actually use them correctly. It's amazing, total game changer. This is something, um, this new guide, the stylistic technique portion specifically, will, um, my student will be using this. He will be using this comprehensively, cover to cover this year. I think it's truly a game changer in helping us um, study and master these techniques. So I hope you encourage your families to use it and you get excited about it as well. Bye.